Hey guys, this is Cal and LF with a new episode of Mock Talks. And today, as requested, I'm talking about the Dermis Turtle, the infamous co-star of the one of the most viewed Mata episodes, both on the original CBW channel and now on this one. And I'm pretty sure it's only because it's nine minutes long, because that video is terrible. Uh, but the Dermis Turtle itself is a design. Um, he was specifically designed for the episode, that was his origin, because the episode was written by uh, Chicken Bond 2, who I have called Chicken Bond 12 in the past, but that was incorrect. That was on the how-to for this that was also on the CBW channel uh, a while back, and it was on my old camera, so the video quality was terrible, <laughs> but uh, this is also not the best, but whatever, it's better than my stupid old camera. All irrelevant information. Point is, uh, Chicken Bond 2 wrote the script about Tahu being irrelevant and silly and, uh, and, oh no, not irrelevant and silly. <laughs> I'm getting too into using the word irrelevant. The episode's about Tahu being kind of tricked by Liwa, obviously. And, uh, and because he wrote this Dermis Turtle into it, I have no idea what inspired him to use the Dermis Turtle because no offense to the guy who designed it, but it's not very pretty looking. Um, but anyway, I had to redesign it because I wanted to and because something had to be shown as the Dermis Turtle in the show So I did redesign it and I made this guy and uh, He's a little I wanted to make it cute and sweet and I also had to make him small so that he could fit on Tahu's head without it looking Incredibly ridiculous and or more importantly without it being impossible to animate because if it was impossible to animate uh, Then it the video wouldn't have come out now would it? <laughs> But yeah, uh, so I, I wanted to make him have a more solid color scheme. I don't know why I went with uh, the white and silver particularly, other than it looks nice. And I just thought it made for a cute little visual contrast. And I liked the way this head looked. I thought it made for a cute little look. I totally ignored canon and the fact that it had, hor um, like, what is it? Uh, uh, gosh, tusks. Yes, the, the turtle had tusks in the cannon, and uh, I, I had an old design that, I mean, I had, a, I can, there, with a small adjustment, you can make this guy have tusks, but uh, I am not doing that today because I don't feel like it, and I feel like he looks better without the tusks anyway. But yeah, I guess now I'll talk a little bit about the episode. Uh, now, the reason I say the, the Dermis Turtle episode is terrible is... Well, one, it has some pretty dumb references in it. Uh, uh, those are thanks to Chicken Bond, too. He's got, like, Family Guy and, uh, and Oreos. Kind of silly stuff. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not crazy about it for that. Um, and then, the, but the main reason is my meddling with it. Because at the time, I felt it was too hurtful for Tahu to get made fun of in such a way. And that's why I had that stupid, sappy ending where Pohatu's like, Liwa, no, that you were mean. Liwa's like, no, nah, well, it's fine, Tahu's fine, but Tahu's a good leader. Oh, no, what have I done? Tahu, I'm sorry. I forgive you. That yeah, was stupid. I, I hate that I made that change. Uh, but I don't know. I felt like it was too harsh, too mean. I felt like... Because originally the ending was something like just a joke. It's like Tahu's just being over dramatic in story retrospect. And then Liwa pops in and is like, ah, you're stupid. And Tahu's like, aw. And it's funny because that's basically what my videos have devolved into now. Like Tahu's just an idiot and everyone makes fun of him for it. Uh, so yeah, basically I ruined the Dermis Turtle video. Although to be fair, the script wasn't the greatest already anyway. Sorry, Chicken Bond 2. I, but it's true. It was not, not the best episode, in my opinion. Although, I don't know, it was fun making a video of that size. I do remember have, being like, oh, when am I going to get this done? Which is funny, considering then I put a lot less effort in my videos. Uh, speaking, although, as much as I'm not a huge fan of that episode, I've always liked this little design, and so I've, done, I've, re I've uh, used this model again on multiple occasions, be it uh, him popping up visually in Mata episodes, like, uh, what was the one? Akaku was one where you see him briefly. And, uh, so yeah, I like to include him in little Easter eggs. I put him in the Valentine's Day music video for, for giggles. Like, oh, everyone's in love, and Tyler's just in love with the little Dermis turtle. How cute. 
And you know what? Considering his history, here's Tahu. Tahu is here. Hello. Oh no, he's broken. Not sure if you can tell how he was broken, but he was. But anyway, my my affinity my affinity for Dermis turtles actually was going to lead to more involvement with them. I did have ideas for a Mata episode with more Dermis turtles. That's right. More Dermis turtles. And I now have a third white Gallinuva mask, so I could make another, but I don't feel like it. Um, but I still do have three. I even have a reverse colored because I thought that would be funny. Uh, and so, yeah, there's the three Dermis turtles. Also, on that. I guess another reason for not making another one is because I intentionally gave them all different eye colors. He's got the light, light blue, he's got the dark blue, and he's got the, just sort of the faded blue, that, uh, the color of Matoro's hands, I think. Uh, Matoro and Nika, that is. So yeah, uh, more Dermis Turtles. And on that note, I think I'm gonna end it, because there's not much else to say. I never wrote a script with this, I just had this idea, and so I've had these guys lying around. So surprise! There's three of them. Hope you, I hope you thought this was okay and all this discussion and all that because I like talking about these things and I hope you guys enjoy these videos. So keep keep commenting more requests. I saw Gringat was getting kind of up there. A few other suggestions. Also, I might as well note that I don't have a mock of Magma Gear. So if you really want me to review Magma Gear, I'd have to make a new mock for it. So I'm not sure I'm going to do that. So yeah, Magma Gear was taken apart a long time ago, and now this guy's falling apart too. So I'm just going to end it here before it breaks down into more disaster! Oh my god!